When you ask a child to draw a car, the image that they end up with is, more often than not, that of a sedan. Think back to the first car that you own, and for many of us, the image that pops into our head is that of a sedan. Sedans get so much fundamentally right. Forget about the fact that they look good, that is a given, but dynamically, they are fundamentally sound and so much better than SUVs. As a driving enthusiast, new sedans always get me excited, and a sedan from Skoda? Well, you have my 100% attention. The Slavia's launch is right around the corner, and Škoda is all set to make a comeback in the mid-size premium sedan segment. This is Škoda's forte. Wind the clock back to two decades ago, and Škoda made its debut in the country with the Octavia, a sedan that went on to become iconic in India. The Slavia is the next step bringing modern European styling and technology into a highly desirable package. The Slavia, it rivals the likes of the Honda City and the Hyundai Verna, but it brings so much to the table. In this video, I am going to be talking to you about what you should be looking forward to in the new Škoda Slavia. The first thing is, the Slavia is the largest in its class where it matters. The Honda City may be longer in terms of overall length, but the Slavia has a longer wheelbase, a whole 5 centimeters longer than the Honda City. And we all know that legroom on the inside is directly proportional to wheelbase. It is also the widest in its class, so that means the shoulder room should be really good and it has the largest boot. In a segment that is all about giving customers a premium experience, these dimensions should hold the Slavia in good stead and give people a lot of space on the inside. This means that the Slavia is larger than the Rapid it replaces and to give you a sense of how big the Slavia actually is, the dimensions are on par with the Octavia that was launched 20 years ago. How badass is that? The Slavia is a proper driver's car. We've driven prototypes of the Skoda Slavia and we can confidently say that this is going to set a new benchmark for driving dynamics when it is launched in India. It's a combination of many things, the TSI technology that gives it great performance, the DSG gearbox which is the gold standard for twin clutches, the stiff chassis that makes the dynamics so sound. This, you need to remember, is based on the MQB A0 IN platform that is significantly stiffer than the Rapid's PQ platform. The Rapid was already a great car to drive and this should take things to the next level. All combined, you have a car that will be really fun to drive when driven hard. We at Evo India have briefly driven the prototype of the Slavia and here's what Sirish had to say about it when he drove it. Ride is really brilliant and it sets a new benchmark in this segment. Plus, there is the handling. Now, throw it around a set of twisties at high speeds and there is a noticeable amount of body roll because the dampers are a little softer, but there is good grip, there is good bite. The front end, it is responsive. It really is eager. You throw it into a bend and it handles really like a joy. In fact, it handles better than the Kushak because the center of gravity, it is lower. This is lower and it is such a joy to be back to reviewing a proper sedan. After all these SUVs that have been testing, over these past months to finally drive a proper sorted sedan, it is really, really pleasing. It looks like the Slavia is all set to be the new thrill of driving benchmark in the mid-size sedan segment. The Slavia has really classy interiors. Look inside the cabin of the Slavia and the biggest difference that you will note from the Kushak is the addition of virtual cockpit. This 8-inch digital instrument cluster really makes the cabin feel tech-laden and future-proof. A lot of it is also shared with the Kushak. You've got the 10-inch infotainment screen that is very similar. You've got the same functionality with wireless Android Auto, wireless CarPlay and hooking up your phone to it should be a breeze. And even the architecture of the dash is very neatly laid out and very pleasant to be in. I've only seen the interiors of the Slavia in pictures so far, but I'm really looking forward to spending time in it. The Škoda Slavia is highly localized. The Slavia is the second car for Škoda out of the India 2.0 project after the Kushak. 
And that means, like the Kushak, it is going to be up to 95% localized. High localization has been a focus to ensure that Skoda can price these cars competitively. And that is something we can expect from the Skoda Slavia. High localization also means that replacement parts will be easy to source. And the fact that there are a lot of child parts available means should you need to replace something, costs will stay in check. It isn't just the initial purchase price that gets more attractive, but the whole ownership experience. Something that really appeals to me about the Škoda Slavia is the way it looks. It's so European, handsome and restrained, but at the same time, it draws you in. Up front, the Škoda grille is unmissable and the shape of the headlamps, along with the bumpers and the power bulge in the bonnet, actually make it look like a baby Octavia. Even at the rear, it looks sharp with really cool details in the tail lamps. It's got a typical three box design, but when you look at it in profile, the roof line actually manages to flow really nicely into the tailgate. It looks so sophisticated and typically European, and that is what I love about it. The Skoda Slavia is all set to launch in March 2022. We can expect it to be priced competitively against the Hyundai Verna and the Honda City. As driving enthusiasts, I must say that we have a really exciting sedan to look forward to this year. What are you looking forward to in the Škoda Slavia? Let us know in the comments below.